Hi kids, Mr. Vince here from the Brown Bears. Today I'm going to read you a story. It's a story about an apple tree and a star. So here we go. The name of the story is The Story of the Apple Star. Once upon a time, a young apple began growing in an orchard. Each night, she would gaze up into the evening sky and admire all the bright and twinkly stars. Oh, how she wished she had just one of those stars of her very own. One night, an orchard fairy came to the tree with a promise to grant her one wish. Without any hesitation, the young apple tree told the fairy of the wish of her having her own star. The fairy promised that if the apple tree was good tree and grew to be big and strong and full of red apples, she would get her star. The apple tree tried very, very hard. Each sunny day, she lifted up her branches in the warm sun. Each rainy day, her roots soaked up all the water she needed to grow. After several seasons, her hard work had paid off. She had grown to be a big tree with lots of branches and lots of red, ripe apples. She waited, and she waited, but the orchard fairy did not return. The apple tree was beginning to lose hope, but then one day the fairy returned. The tree shook her limbs with excitement to show off how strong her branches were and how beautiful her apples were. Look, she said, I did it. I've grown and I have beautiful apples. Could I have my star now? Oh, my dear, replied the fairy, your wish has already been granted. You already have your stars. The tree looked a little confused. The fairy told her, on your tree, every apple that grew has a star inside. So you don't have just one star, you have many stars. The tree was very excited, and she couldn't wait to find out. So she took one of her apples and opened it up, and guess what she found inside. Now that we read the story, I'm going to show you how you could find the magic star inside every apple. What you're going to need for this is a nice apple, a stamp pad, or you can use paint on a piece of paper, I mean a paper plate, and you will need a piece of paper. First, you're going to have to find an apple. Now, you're going to have to have your parents help you because they need to cut the apple. In order for you to find the star, you have to cut the apple the right way. So you're going to stand up your apple like this with the stem pointing up, and you're going to cut across this way. So after you cut, your apple should look like this. Do you see that? And this is the outside. Let's turn and see the inside of the apple. Do you see that? It's a little dirty. Let me see if I can clean it up a little. But right there, you can see the apple has a star inside. Now both parts of the apple will have a star. The other part of the apple is the part you're going to use to put into your stamp pad or your paint. The half that's clean, you could actually eat it when you're done. So I'm going to put the apple inside the stamp pad, push down, and then I'm going to push it down on my paper. Now you guys can't see this part, but I'm going to show you what it looks like as soon as it's done. Can you see that? That's the apple print, and right there in the middle is your star. Let's try that again. Dip it into the paint or to your stamp pad, and then you want to make sure you're pushing really hard, because what you want to do is get all the apple covered and make sure the star is there also.
and there it is again, a star. Now you can use different color apples. You don't have to use this one. You can use whatever favorite apple you like. You could use red or green or yellow and then use different color paint or different color stamps to see if you could get a nice stamp of your apple. I'm lifting it up so you can see what it looks like when you stamp. But you gotta make sure every part of the apple is covered. And there you have it, your star inside of the apple. Hope you enjoy it, and don't forget, eat the other half of the apple. See you tomorrow.